Welcome to the video tutorial of GreenCloud VPS. Today, we will show you how to install Greylog on Ubuntu 24.04. To install Greylog, you need to have MongoDB installed first. First, run the following command to install some dependencies. Then, add the MongoDB GPG key and repository with the following command. After the repository is added, run the following command to update your Ubuntu package index and install MongoDB on your system. Enter Y to confirm the installation. Once the installation completes, start and enable the MongoD service with the following command. Lastly, verify that the MongoD service to ensure that the service is running. You should see that MongoDB is running on your system. After installing MongoDB, you need to install Elasticsearch. First, install Java Open JDK, then proceed to install Elasticsearch. Enter Y to proceed with the installation. Now, check the Java version using the following command. You should see that Java Open JDK 11 is installed. Once Java is installed, you're ready to install Elasticsearch. Continue to run the following command to add the GPG key and repository for Elasticsearch. Then, update your Ubuntu repositories and install the Elasticsearch package. After installation, open the Elasticsearch configuration file using the Nano Editor. Change like the following. Save the file and exit the editor. Now, run the following command to reload the systemd manager, start, and enable the Elasticsearch service. With Elasticsearch running, you can verify it with the following command. The following output confirms that Elasticsearch is running. You can also check Elasticsearch with the following command. If Elasticsearch is running, you can see its version number and cluster name if it is running. Now, download the Greylog repository package and install it using the following command. Next, run the following command to update your Ubuntu package index and install the Greylog server package. After the installation, you need to generate two passwords, password secret and root password SHA2 for Greylog. To generate the password secret, run the following command. Make sure to copy the generated password. For the root password SHA2, run the following command. Enter your password when prompted and copy the generated SHA password. Now that you've generated Greylog passwords, you'll modify the Greylog configuration file. Next, paste your generated passwords. Then, change the default HTTP bind address to your local IP address.
save the file and exit the editor. Next, run the following command to reload the system D manager, start and enable the Greylog server service. Lastly, check the Greylog server status using the following command. If your installation is successful, you'll see that Greylog is running on your Ubuntu server. Greylog can act as a front-end and does not require a web server. However, you can configure a web server as a reverse proxy for port 80 to port 9000, on which Greylog listens. This also simplifies configuring an SSL certificate for Greylog. In our case, we will use Nginx as our preferred web server option. To install Nginx, run the following command. Add the following lines of code, and make sure to specify your server's IP for the proxy pass attribute. Save the changes and exit the configuration file. Then, Run the following command to verify that your web server's configuration syntax is OK. If all looks good, enable the nginx virtual host file. Remember to delete the default virtual host file, as this will override the newly enabled virtual host configuration. To apply the changes made, restart the nginx web service. Next, ensure that it is running as expected. After that, allow the firewall ports to connect. Now, to access the Greylog web interface, Visit the following URL in your web browser. You'll be redirected to the Greylog login page. Enter the default user admin with the password within the root password SHA2 option. If you have the correct username and password, you'll get the Greylog dashboard.